Ladies and gentlemen, I got another commentary about NBA 2K20 and I definitely wanted to talk a little bit more about this storyline and talk about what is happening right now. So the trainer got them to actually come to the facility, the Gatorade facility, at 6 a.m. in the morning. Work them out for a good decent time and now they're talking about their sore. She gets a phone call and it's for JJ. JJ gets a phone call from the agent himself and he says he has a deal for him and it's going to take place in an acting position. They're looking for an open basketball player, an upcoming rising star, and they want him to put himself in this movie. But you have a decision. You can stay, continue working out, getting the training you need, and doing all the things that you necessarily need to make yourself get ready for the draft combine. That's going to be happening in maybe, according to what the time is frame is, 63 days. So what's going on right now is that he's talking to the agent and the agent is persuading him and letting him know this is going to be a great opportunity for someone who's going to be in your caliber and making another decision. That's going to be a big one. But I turned it down. Why? As a basketball player, I already know decisions and things like this will come back up around why you earn a certain situation you do not earn in a movie situation you do not earn anything but a fan base so i'm not looking for a fan base because i'm not like the gentleman on the right hand side of me or the left hand side of me depending on what you would say he's going to be an overall top 15 pick meaning he's going to be getting multi-million dollar contracts from teams that are willing to pay him for the time that he's going to be in the facility. But from what we got going on, the trainer has something very special for us. After training us and actually making us go through all the workouts and stretching us out, she has signed and got us a, like a legit open court gym with these best players in the NBA. Westbrook was on my team and I got to play with him. I was playing with Paul George and I was playing against the guy who was working out with me and James Harden and last but not least, DeMar DeRozan. So I ended up choosing that situation and having fun with this open court type of situation. It was great. This is some of the gameplay that you are going to actually see when you are playing the game itself. So please take a really good look and take a chance to really see what's going on right here. So... My guy JJ is a three, a level 3 type scorer, meaning he can score from the 3 mid-range and get in close to the bucket, meaning anything comes down to layups and dunks, okay? Those are his strengths, and he's going to be at the power forward spot. I necessarily didn't want him to be at the power forward spot, to, to be honest, but I had to figure out what I wanted to really do. I wanted him to be a small forward like many of the characters I have made up in the past, if you have seen me in the past make characters, this character actually looks like the recent character that I came up with. And his name is Shifu, but it's Lucky Lin. Okay, so I'm still rocking out with the same character, this Asian character. And people around the community know that I actually have this Asian character built and this style that I come with. And they definitely know when I come into the community rooms and anything that comes around it and they see this character and they just take a glimpse out of it. They know who they're looking at as a player in general. So I was able to make a couple shots in the game and, you know, JJ's excited and he's really amped up because he's playing against stars that he would actually see play in a level of basketball game when it comes down to the NBA when the jerseys are on and all the lights and stuff like that this is for more bragging rights and open court gym to just you know show the show your style and whatnot but when it comes down to a serious game uh precision and accuracy means a lot in the game and um I was able to assist and still get rebounds and assist uh, teammates in the game to making this game very fluid um the game, I think it went up to 7, and 7 was the highest. And basically, at the end of this, you're going to see exactly what I was able to do. It was a great time that I was able to spend and on this and um, definitely feel like I was actually a part of something greater than myself before I got to be the big contracts and the team and all that great stuff. And he, he attacks the rim very ferociously, and... Um, 
he's really good at doing that. So I got to be very careful how I see him. And especially I will be seeing him in the NBA. We're both rookies looking to making it to the league. And um, I think this is going to be the final bucket right here that I will be able to. Okay, so it's not the final bucket. So it must go up to, I guess it's going up to 10. Because this was kind of like, you know, I made these videos so long ago that um, I never really watched over it. But I knew that I needed to make some commentary on this, on the game itself, the gameplay. I feel like it's very smooth. Um, it's very accurate towards like you know you can guard anybody you really can you just have to stay in front of them but there will be moves that you are not going to stay in front of if, especially when it comes down to um breakdown moves when it's a size up move or using behind the back or things like that that would require you to actually have some type of defense and um that type of level of situation is going to be something that you're gonna have to look into your stat tree or you're going to have to look into your badges to help you with that situation in um those many situations because you can get broken in this game very easily if you do not have defensive badges and if you do have defensive badges you're just going to have a greater time um doing what you do and that right there was a shot from the three-point land right at the top of the key in DeMar DeRozan's face and exactly we get back to the crib and we are watching him play NBA 2K, you know what I mean? He's still studying the teams, the names of the players, and he's trying to understand what's going on. He's sore. You can actually see how sore he is from the way he's walking. And he's talking to the trainer and just letting her know um, where is um, JJ. And JJ was in the room, and um, he's studying, and uh, he's going to continue playing 2K. And... She's going to talk to him about many situations that are occurring throughout his whole entire um, upcoming of his whole NBA status, trying to make it to the league. And she says that there's going to be so many more deals in the process coming your way. You got to be ready and you got to be very assertive to knowing which deals you want and which ones you don't want. And at the end of the day, the goal is to be a basketball player. And if it ends up being um, what it is, um, that's just what it is. Um, so right now, we're looking at this gentleman and he has um, homesickness right now. And he's basically um, very sick that he's away from home. You know what I mean? From family, father, mother, his brothers and siblings. And um, he's so young to this and he is from the UK and um dj uh not dj uh jj <laughs> is basically giving him some word of advice and just hearing him out and just listening to him because he sounds like you know what i mean he has a lot on his mind and at the point of moment this storyline is going to get better and better i will be showing you more videos please like and subscribe my name is chris dash and i will see you guys for another video peace